you know, my one of my favorite parts about the internet, or just technology in general, freaking GPS. Like, when I was a kid, we would do a fair number of road trips, and it was always just a little rough. Because you would have to have someone constantly checking the maps, and you didn't know precisely when something was going to come up upon you. Mm hmm And, like, I definitely... The only times my parents would ever really fight was when we were lost. My dad is an okay navigator... But his directions are very vague. So he has the map in front of him and he's like, okay, so you should probably take the next exit. You see in the dark and you're studying. But he doesn't say exit 22 or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's just he's a little too vague and wishy washy about his directions and. It, it always made my mother super upset. Wait, what is this mission? Uh, we were doing the ambush. Oh. Yeah, so we're like right at actual, like, plot stuff here. So we're ambushing who to get to the islands that we can free Dandelion? No, no, no. Dandelion, uh, Dudu is having Dandelion be transferred to oh, Oxenfurt. Oh, right. So we're going to break him free by ambushing the cart. Seems everything's ready. Aye. As soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And, uh, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? Eh, it would have raised suspicions. Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Mm -hmm. I wonder what's the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let her stay. Look at her, all weepy-eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. Uh, I, I hope she doesn't Fine. get hurt. she can stay. On one condition. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet, and there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? <laughs> sure, let's play. Uh, Always Gwent. Always Gwent. So was he gonna say Packer? Yeah, probably. I I didn't know what the first. Ooh, this is a good pull. Whoa, interesting. That's an incredible pull. Hell yeah. You have no no spies. spies, but like, who gives a dang doodle? Uh, let's see. Really? That's your starting move? Okay. Oh, she passed? Sure. Already? That's an odd choice of actions. Hmm. I, I... Well, I mean... Okay. And I can, you can just... can just use Yennefer yeah, to I bring back the other one? Yeah, I can resurrect the both of them. Unless you wanted to save Scorch for something, but she... I don't know how she's going to buff her Ben. We'll see if she does. They're all fives, which is promising. Yeah. I'm going to put this down. So I could have Scorched and taken out their fives and my fives, but... 
Ah, okay. I think this might just be a set him up, knock him down kind of situation. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, you see, your units are higher than hers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like she's got a Scorch. If she did, she would have pulled it already. Mm-hmm. Looks like she's just got a bunch of... Grubbins bunch of dudes. interact with yours at all. It's kind of boring, yeah. I suppose you're just going to have to forfeit, correct? Because you don't want to well, wipe out forfeit. your 24s. Well, not forfeit, but pass. Oh, I can't use my... You can't use it. Meter ability. Well, let's see what else she's got. Could scorch me. Or she could change the weather. Wait, what? Mysterious self. It's a, a spy. spy. Oh, that's uh, bad. Oh, no. So she destroyed them anyway, and that... Mm. But now you only have a Scorch, and what does she have? I mean, you can destroy it, but then you have no points for either okay. of you. Yeah. Did, did... Give me. So is it a draw? It's a draw. Play again, I guess. <laughs> okay. Dandelion. It's okay. That's a good one. That's an okay one. Let's see if Thaler gives me what I need. Yeah, I didn't have any spies, and yeah, having having this card show up right at the end there was just Brutal. Eh. Eh. So not in as strong of a position, to mm -mm. be honest. Not really. Not at all. We'll you see how it goes. You have two Scorches, though. I do. You uh, could destroy her fives. Yeah. Or you could wait. I'll start with that. That's a... That's a decent plan. Ah, uh, but you could have waited for her to make more fives. Yeah. And he's gonna make another five, isn't he? No. Well, I'm just gonna keep scorching her fives. If the value is ten or higher, it's worth it. She passed. Mm-hmm. So realistically, you just need one more card out. Yep. And then... Pass. Ah, hey. another spy. That's what I like to see. Ah, horns. And Yennefer. Ah, oh, yeah, and Yennefer. What do I got? Uh, let's see, I got my Scorches and the Commando and some other things. So... Uh... Dandelion! And who does he buff? Anyone in his row? Yeah, everyone in his row. Ah. So that's going to be for the ranged yeah, units. Yeah, that doesn't really harm me in the slightest. Wait, what? Why would you do that? Because I'm just killing time. Just to see I, what she pulls. I want her to put down as many melees as possible. You, yeah, you need to put it in the trebuchet area. Yep. Because this is effectively going to be my last round. I'm not going to try and space it out for a third. Did 
Does she have a lot of melee units? She does. Yeah, she does, but it's only Vesemir that I could take out currently. Uh, I was hoping she'd put down something else, but that's okay. Alright, give me the Trebigit. Ah, who's she healing? A spy. Mm hmm. Just yeah. gonna wait. Yeah, I guess I'll just nuke. Uh, but Vesemir. you know that she has the potential to bring out a lot of dwarves, and she's using that. Yeah, that's what I was hoping I'd be able to hit. Whoa. Whoa. Does she have you? Yeah, she has us. Geralt. Let's bring her back. Vengeance! <laughs> well. Eh. Yeah, okay, she doesn't have anything. Okay, good. Aha! We have won! We have won! With overwhelming firepower. In fact, this was the stronger round than last time. This was a stupid idea. You're the one who wanted to play. They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Uh, I'm still worried she might get kidnapped or used in a hostage situation. Or inadvertently injured. That. Uh, uh, dear. Durr. Whoops. I still think it's hilarious these guys wear these leather straps over their faces. Dandelion. Damn it. They rode off with him. Geralt, go after him. Leave these here to us. But you see, that looks like a. Oh no, poor Roach. It's okay. Shit. Lost him. Gotta look for tracks. Do you have to use your senses? Mm hmm. Ah, uh, you weren't swift enough? Road through here. Ah, uh, that stench. Oh, I wonder I wonder if I can actually Witcher sense while on a horse. That's what I was thinking. There you go. Run, Roach. Come on, Roach. We're good. But yeah, luckily this roach does not have an HP bar. Just Winter a fear deep. meter. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Well, yes, two people. Calm down, Roach. Just bees. Oh, right, because all bees hate me. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just absorbing honey based on sheer proximity more than anything else. How did this Is man it... smoothly ride through this area without crashing repeatedly? Maybe he's familiar with it? I'm just oh, noticing he's him going on and off the road, though. Yeah, he's he's doing like crazy tricks to avoid, but like, make... Wait, how did oh. he get around this camp? Well then, oh, come on. Paul Roach, to you. Clearly, you need to go on foot further. Or wait, are there two sets of prints? Yeah, oh, I think no. I need to talk to this man. Anyone ride through here? Two men. One slung over the saddle like a sack. 
Oh, I something of the kind dashed by, turned left there. But where a wench she were carrying, swear it on me head, squealing and wailing so. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Turn left. Dandelion was probably, yeah, left. But are you going to go right instead? Is that what you're thinking? I'm confused. Well, now how's the work going, good man? Oh, Prepare there's a, the a call. Damn it! Followed the wrong trail. Got to look what? for a set of single hoof marks, heavily laden horse. Let's go. Turn left, yeah. That's what the guy said. Turn left, unless he was mistaken. I suppose the yellow did point out the right trail. That's really not left. Run, Roach. I hmm. unless the peasants Looks don't know like right now. Might have left. started limping. Slow now. Whoa. Faster. Okay. Hey ya. Uh oh. What's that? The dead horse? Yeah, looks like a dead horse. Their horse collapsed. Can't be far. Even Big Willie's not. Hey, you! What the hell's a foot here? What is it? You tell me. One of them hunters barged into our hut, turned us out before we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark-haired. Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, hunters barricaded themselves inside? There another way in. Truth be told, there is. Where's this other way in? Aren't you curious? It's an ordinary tunnel, back way out in case of trouble. We don't let strangers in there. Show it to them, even. And there's... Shut it. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Cellar door in the back. Thanks. Sit there. There, I said, and shut it. All right. All right. But what then? How long do you think you can keep me in this hut? Quiet. Don't worry about me. I'll be quiet. But those halflings, you can't trust them, you know. Once I saw one of them. Ouch! Duh. And how can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. It's not like I really have a choice now, do I? And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could wring your neck like a fat end, you realize. Yeah, but I also realize you won't. My corpse is worth nothing to you, whereas a lot. Like I said, a hundred gold ingots. You've made a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow. Quiet! I thought I heard something. What? No, 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 you see? You're in gas, you don't... <laughs> He's pretending to be muffled. Let's end with this. That guy hurt. <laughs> or did he shove something in his mouth? Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this lass to thank for his reason after years. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt! Dandelion, I need to ask you something. 
It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I'm... Well, I don't know where she is. I know you tried to help her. Gotta say, I'm having trouble understanding why you went to Horson Jr. of all people. No one else came to mind. Maybe, given more time, I'd have done things differently, but Siri said the Wild Hunt was on her tail. Horson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something went wrong. So you've heard everything. I hope you're not mad. You can't be. My plan was perfect. Until I put it in motion. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Dudu? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. Can they hear that? When did you last see her? I think so. We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. I don't like those notifications. Yeah, I should probably turn off achievements at some point. Grab the bitch! Uh oh. Grab her! No, I'll conserve her. They barred all the gates! We have to run! Grab a horse to the temple! Who's the voice actor for Dandelion? Because I swear I recognize it. <laughs> oh, you, you can't jump? Uh-oh, nope. this isn't good. Get through. Get, get. I did, 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 I did. Ouch. Come on. I think I'm better on foot. Horses just don't really behave right in this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get it. They're spooked as shit, but. Leave your horse. We have to. We're almost there. Well, now, now he says that. But. Wow. Well, that. How far back does that set you? Hopefully, before the cutscene. Uh. It, it's the cutscene. Or like the horse race. But yeah. Awkward? Awkward. Oh. Miraculous Guide to Gwent contains information about what Gwent cards you're missing. The bitch. Keep it together, lads. Horse and Junior said it is. They barred all the gates. We have to run. Grab a horse to the temple. You're just going to run on foot? Gonna take considerably less damage on foot. Mm hmm. I suppose you can just shoot past them. Teleportation. Left! You try catching a lady that can warp forward 5, 10, 15 feet. <laughs> Leave your horse! We have to! We're almost there! Well, actually, he's back there. Wander. We... I think we have to go in here. I think he went around the side. Didn't he? Does this go through here? Ah. Let's go so. After them. Guards! Guards! Dandelion! <laughs> Ah! Siri? Damn it! Arrest that man! Ah, what an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zultan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. 
gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. That all you care about? The ballads this will inspire? Egos swell a bit lately, getting more and more selfish with age. What is that about? It's about Siri. Why would I ever worry about her? You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this. You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Actually, it's not feeling anything at all. Horson's dead. Ooh. Guess you're no stranger to Fury either. Well, I can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend Siggy Reuven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. Hmm, a curse? What was Siri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it, she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. Vafail Elaine Kiadmil Foli. Gladiv Dorn Ep Tenaid Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. Damn it, that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked, in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Why are you giving me that look? Because you made a weird noise. Mm. Like you're choking on something? Or what was going on? Mm. Hey, we can now do blood and wine. But, and wine. but we are not the right level. But why mm -hmm. ever would he want that? Mine will be fine. Eh, we are um, grateful that we wanted to demonstrate that. So we got this wee gift for you. 
Uh, Portrait uh, of the Hierarch. Nice. Ah, oh, it's nothing really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right. All right. Farewell. Right, because they have a bunch of paint and portraits in their basement. Hemel fart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this man's farts. <laughs> It that or it's in part thunderous. done from a lower perspective as well. Oh, I mean, there's only so much you can do with perspective before it becomes an issue. Hey, I actually have a number of these question marks. I haven't done this in a while. Oh, you mean just random quests in the area? Yeah, you were mentioning the last time we played Witcher that we pretty much didn't talk apart from to react to what was going on. It was very much just kind of a a minimal commentary because we were going from cutscene to cutscene to cutscene yeah in the main story and you know what i think that worked out for the most part uh this village is on fire uh-oh bandits by the looks of it oh uh, yeah so it is why are there so many bandits what percentage of the population has resorted to banditry uh now because at this point, we see just wow. as many bandits as we do villagers. What? I think I might... Your nerve. Oh. Wait, fallen knights? By fallen, do they mean undead or do they mean pe deserters? They look like deserters to me. Holy shit. These guys are so freaking durable. I love how people are arguing about the exact percentage split between vagrants and bandits and vagabonds versus it's a citizenry. disconcerting number. Well, it's as I said before when I talked about how in many games it seems like their predators abound, mm -hmm. and then you don't see any herbivores, and you go. That ratio is improper. There should be far fewer predators than herbivores. Okay, any of you guys archers? And do you know what the weird thing is? If you think about it, it's the same thing. The bandits are predatory humans. Do you, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How they feed off of and oppress and kill the people that end up providing them with goods and food and whatnot. You know what I mean? So it just doesn't make sense that there be just as many bandits as there are <laughs> He just sent his friend's corpse flying. Now, if they're wearing red... Does that mean that they're Radovid people? Fallen Knights? Wait, they're the Flaming Rose. Too late to surrender. Hmm. See how their emblem is a rose of fire? Yeah, it could be Radovid folks. Well, because all I remember is that what? Tamaria had three? White roses, or were they? What were the emblems? And then Novigrad obviously has the black and white and gold with the sun, or the flame. Well, this is a different type of flame, but Radovid definitely had red. Oh. Got him. Okay, next one. He has a skull above his head. Does that mean he's a oh, boss yeah. or that he's higher level than you? He is 13 levels higher than me. Oh. Ouch. Yeah, and one strike from him is half your health. I wish there was a way for you to get shields. Like, to disarm them in that oh. sense. Yeah, sometimes there's shield breaker moves. 
Because in a situation like this, if, say, you had Samus's energy whip, you would use it to latch onto that pole and then essentially tear their shield from them. But then you would blast him. Okay, so can you move your feet a little? Eh. I have not actually been hanging out on this couch lately, so I'm actually kind of uncomfortable on it. Alright, other fallen knight. Uh, let's see. Ard. Ard! Yes. Oh, can you get him while he's down? Like, do the final... Oh. I was trying. What? Come on. Uh, invisible walls. Oh, watch out. Yeah, can you stab him? There we go. There you go. Yeah, sometimes this gets a little funky. All right, there we go. Yeah, people can come back. So finish on low health, I think. Nope. I like how these people are just going to go back to their daily lives. Will stuff still on fire? No, they, they put out the fires. Oh, so they did. Good for them. Okay, so we're going to go finish this off. So yeah, definitely underleveled for such things, but uh, that's okay. Hello. Field Agent 12E32? Ilias Beanpole. Executing order 122245 according to procedure 46D. To be delivered personally to the commander of the Intelligence Cell Cardinal. Wow, really? They have that? The Renegade Knight's trail leads to the Novigrad region. They took control of a nearby Fistech manufactory upon arrival. Possibly. This is what brought them to the region? What's a manufactory? I've occupied prime observation position. Dropbox has been prepared and in case unforeseen complications, the agent sent to track us down will find in the pond visible from the observation tower near the village of Morin. Well, this is the village of Morin, so... Or Morin. Mm -hmm. So we have to look at da down from this tower to the pond. Regarding the knights, here a big risk might leap, reap big rewards. We suggest offering them imperial gold for their services. With Radovid having dispersed their order, the knights prowl the land like common bandits, scavenging for their upkeep. And they now hate HRM Radovid with a violent passion. What does HRM mean? Majesty? His, uh, oh, his, his royal, royal majesty. majesty. Yes. Herm. Radovid with a violent passion. They gladly take our coin, and even more gladly destabilize the Redanian army's rear guard. They do far better than any partisans. Worth considering. Agent Shinetop is still out of his mission. No word of um, wait, still out on his mission. No word from him for several days. Waiting further instructions. Postscripts written in blood. Wait in hell, Nilf Guardian. Um, and you're next, Agent Shine Top. So Shine Top betrayed them. Right? Yes, so. With a name like Shine Top, maybe he's bald. Very possibly. So where's this pond? Down there? It's this. Wait, what? Really? Yep. That pond? Yep. Yeah. Okay, can't do that. Let's see, how's everyone's night going? I'm tired. How long have I been streaming for? Nine My hours? My voice is still not 100%. But I'm starting to think that it might be in part the strain, but also because of requiring additional fluids and maybe even just mild stuffiness from the weather change? I don't know. Yep. I... I had to vanquish a mosquito earlier. I did not expect a mosquito to, to find its way into our abode. And it was actually quite maneuverable. It was sitting on the wall. And I tried smacking it several times, and usually I'm, I'm I'm quite swift. I'm able to sometimes even smack flies out of the air. It's funny. But in any case, 
Now this thing, it I think it's because they're so light and so thin. It just sort of kind of woo, whisked away from side to side and it kept landing again and again. That's why you kept hearing me in the other room going, no, no. It, I, you've been chiming in a little hard today on like topics I'm talking about. So I was trying <laughs> to figure out. If I was trying to respond to you or something. Yeah, I was like, what is she doing? What is she saying? But no, no mercies for mosquito. Well, no mercy for mosquitoes because mosquitoes are the bane of the universe. I mean, aren't they technically the most deadly creature on the planet given the pathogens and the virus? Well, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I'd argue spread... humans probably followed by mosquitoes. Ah, uh, true. True. Humans are probably What's far more destructive. There? But when it comes to threats to humanity and other animals... Mosquitoes are probably deadly in that right. Hey, thank you, Grim Mooser, for gifting the Mooch a sub. Thank you so much. Because they can spread parasites, too. Gross. And thank you for the two other gifted ones. You are not a mosquito. 